Okay, All right, well. here we are with Rick. They got memories, and I'm just going to show you how to clean the heads on a VCR. So he's taken all the screws off. Screws off, get the cover off, like so. Pull it forward. You have to lift up, pull it forward because it's got a lip on the front of it, and a lot of these won't let it come off unless you lift it up. Okay. This is a, this is a VCR DVD combo. All right. And basically. You got your DVD burner and player over here, and you got your VCR here, which is just a setting piece, which has got the video head, drum, audio, and we record and play back. Now, the easiest way of cleaning these units is get a can of something like this, spray cleaner. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of dust in these, so what you want to do is blow them out real good, get everything out of there. Okay. Next step you want to do is get. The best stuff to use really is t-shirt material. You cut it in squares like this. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what color it is. T-shirt material is the best for cleaning VCRs. Use about 70% alcohol, which is what you want to use. Just saturate it like this. A couple little dabs, okay? What you want to do is you don't want to press on the video head. Basically what you want to do is you want to graze the head as you spin it. And the debris, you'll see there'll be a streak of dirt. And that'll show you how dirty the video heads from tapes that you play from time to time. So you take it like this, you go to the side, and just graze it and spin the drum, just like this by hand. And if this machine is dirty, you'll know in about two seconds. And voila. That's all video dirt that builds up on the heads, which gives you very bad playback or improper playback or just noisy video. So you always want to clean them like that and once you get all the stuff off like that you want to double and do it again just to make sure you, you lightly get everything on the rag keep spinning it okay so you got a little bit more now there's two lines so what I'll do is I'll do a third so I'll move it down and I'll do it again and good that's clean so now what you want to do Take, the, take a dirty rag because what they do is they put a lot of grease when this wraps around the drum there's a lot of grease on these what they call guides and they sometimes they build up around the drum and if you get a tape stuck in here the grease gets on the tape and then it starts catching on the drum so you got to make sure you clean the drum off too so what you do is you wrap around both sides of the drum with your finger like that and as you can see there's a lot of that stuff on there so you do both sides Get nice and clean. All right. Now what you want to do is take a cleaner rag like this, okay? And you want to just basically spin it again. Just make sure you get everything and there's nothing, no glue, no grease, nothing gets on the drum. Just drag it around lightly. Okay. Now the drum is clean. Now the last thing you want to do is clean the audio control head. This is where your audio and the control of your speeds S-P-L-P-E-P -E -P, comes from this head right here. So you want to saturate the rag again. It's that piece there by the side. Right here is your audio control head. You got your control on the bottom that controls your speed and the top part of it is your audio track. This is crucial you keep this clean. So basically you take a rag and you get, get some alcohol on it. You want to go to the front of it like this and you just want to wrap, rub it just like that. Okay. As you can see, it's dirty. This is what causes tracking errors, audio, low audio, crackling audio, you name it. Voila, it's clean. Okay. That's how you clean a VCR unit in, in, a, in a DVD player. Uh, if you want to clean the DVD side, you take a CD or a DVD cleaner disc, which does a job without, if it's not really bad, you can put a disc in here to clean it. Uh, you want to go get that disc for me real quick? Ask, uh, yeah, he's got one over there. All right, now you're going to get to a point. Yep. Okay, you're going to get to a point where you want to clean the DVD recording side. Generally, if they're really bad and they don't read the disc, this board's got to come off and you got to clean the laser lens. But most of the time you can't do that because the average person that owns these don't know how to take these apart and it's not going to go through all that trouble. But there is a quick fix that does a very good job that solves the problem most of the time. It's called an optical disc cleaner. This is a CD, just like this, and you got a laser in there that reads the information and records the information. But that laser gets dirty with uh, residue, smoky, the glass gets smoky from dirty environments and whatever. 
Well, with this disc, it's got, a, it's got little brushes at the very bottom of it. And what that does is it sweeps away any of the debris off of the lens so the lens could get more, the purity of the lens could get clean enough so then you get proper playback on your DVDs. So these are a good investment. To, you, this one here is a real good one it's by Memorex. It's called OptiDisc. Really good disc to buy for DVD cleaning. Recommend them highly. But this is generally not that much, but when you have maintenance, that's basically you want to use one of these on this side. The biggest problem is the VCR. The VCR is a little bit more complex. But that's it. After you do these few little steps, your VCR combo is clean and you're ready to go. Great, thanks.